Hello. As part of our literacy lessons on instruction writing, we are going to be making a jam sandwich today. Before I show you what we need to do, you need to go and wash your hands. Make sure you, you've washed them properly and use the little rhyme that you've been learning. Okay, I've just washed mine, so I'm going to show you what we need to make our sandwich. We're going to need soft spread or butter, some jam, if you don't like jam, any other filling is fine. Some bread, a plate and a knife. The very first thing I need to do is take two slices of bread from the bag. And then I'm going to butter Each piece of bread using the knife really carefully. Try not to get it everywhere. <laughs> there we go. This is my two slices of bread with butter on. Next, I'm going to get some use some jam. I'm going to put some jam on one piece of the bread. Oh dear, I'm making a not very good job of this. Let's put some jam on one side of the bread and then I'm going to put the piece that only has buttered on top, put the butter on top of the jammed slice of bread. The next thing I'll do is I'll cut my sandwich either into squares or into triangles. I'm going to cut mine into triangles. There we go. Cut mine into quarters. I've got four equal triangles. And now I'm going to put them on plate so that I can eat them for my lunch. Okay. Your task today is to write a set of instructions for somebody else to make a sandwich. There are some things that you will need to remember. First of all, you will need to use some time connectives to join your sentences, to make them flow. You're going to start with the thing that you did very first as instruction one. So your instruction one may be, wash your hands. Instruction two may be, collect together your resources. At the top of your instructions, you will need to write a list of things that you require. I would suggest you have five or six instructions. Number each one as you're going down the page in the order you did them. If you find it difficult to write all of the instructions, perhaps you could draw some pictures in order, in sequence order of what you did. And then you could get a grown up or somebody else to help you write some captions to go with it to explain what you did. When you have finished your instructions, perhaps you could give them to a grown up or somebody else in your family and see if they can follow them to make the sandwich. Hope you have fun.